All right, you cheese dicks, saddle up, lock, and load. My name is Major Slack, and this is Wolfenstein, the old blood. This ain't no Sunday school picnic. If you wish to survive this hellacious adventure, you will listen up, and you will follow orders. Do you read me loud and clear? Sir, yes, sir. I can't hear you. Sir, yes, sir. All right, drop your cocks and grab your socks. Everybody, open your journals and go to the perks tab. These are your available perks. Complete these challenges and you will reap the benefits of these perks. If you follow my instructions, you will complete 12, count them, 12 perks by the end of chapter one. Do you read me loud and clear? Sir, yes, sir. Close the journal and open your pause menu. Take note of this little sweetheart here. Restart last checkpoint. This pretty little thing is hot to try. That means you can hit this anytime you like. Hey, big boy, looking for a good time? You hear that, people? Free lunch. Make sure you get some. And the best thing about Restart Latest Checkpoint is all your perk progress is retained. So this presents a golden opportunity to farm perk points. But Slack, that's cheating. Staff Sergeant Yager, escort this soldier down to the kennels for some disciplinary action. Yavor, my Slackadant, you come with me. The dogs are hungry and they are going to enjoy your soft, tender flesh. What? Wait, no! What, what, what did I do? <laughs> Good girl, Helga. Good girl. Now, was that some good eating? Excellent. Anybody else have a problem with using Restart Latest Checkpoint to farm perk points? No, I'm good. I'm good too. No problem. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Not a good idea. An excellent idea. That's right. An excellent idea. Very good. Saddle up, lock and load, let's get to it. Major Slack Videos. Alrighty then, for those who don't know, blah, blah, for those of you who don't know, I actually have three YouTube channels. Uh, bear with me, this is relevant. I have three YouTube channels. Uh, Major Slack Attack, which is dedicated to Skyrim. Major Slack Videos, which is where you're at now, which is dedicated to all other games besides Skyrim. And I have a third channel that some of you may or not may not be aware of. Uh, it was originally called Peewee Pie, and uh, I changed the name to Slack Lab, and that channel was dedicated to blind playthroughs, right? Now, some of you veteran hardcore slackers may remember that I actually did a blind playthrough of Wolfenstein The Old Blood, but I never actually did a real walkthrough of this game. And I recently stumbled across uh, a whole set of detailed notes uh, for a real walkthrough of Wolfenstein The Old Blood, and I was like, what? When did I do a real walkthrough of Wolfenstein the Old Blood? And I actually had to do a search on YouTube because I have, you know, like so many channels and so many playlists that, you know, it was easier to do it that way. So I did a search on YouTube, Wolfenstein the Old Blood Major Slack. And yep, the only time I did it was that blind playthrough on Slack Lab, which was previously called PewDiePie. Now, um, uh, Slack Lab was demonetized by YouTube because I just, I couldn't update it often enough. And that's the thing, if you don't update your channel often enough, YouTube will eventually demonetize it. That happened several years ago. I just, I didn't have enough time. It was too much. I bit off more than I could chew. Um, so that's one reason why I'm doing um, a real walkthrough of Wolfenstein The Old Blood. Another reason why is this is the perfect replacement for my Doom Eternal aborted walkthrough because uh, some of you may be old enough to remember that Wolfenstein 3D, which is what the Wolfenstein, the new Wolfenstein series is based on. Wolfenstein 3D was the granddaddy of all first person shooters. It actually predates the original Doom. Okay, it came before Doom. And in this game, they show you, like you, you'll find some secret areas where you can actually go in and play some of the old uh, original, like super pixelated um, levels of the original Wolfenstein 3D. So I'll show you that um, uh, later on as we play through the game. And, um, yeah, so that's why I'm doing this. This is this is the reason why I'm doing this. Wolfenstein, the old blood, real walkthrough here, and the old blind playthrough on my other channel. It's just sitting there doing nothing. It's not, you know, it's not helping to pay the bills. It's just sitting there doing nothing on a demonetized channel. And it was only a blind playthrough. Okay, so that's what this is all about. Let's do it. Here are the difficulty levels. Let's do this on Bring Them On. And bring it on. This war is a disease, passed through blood spilled by warriors. I feel the winds from the gathering storm. In 
Hauptquartier des Führers sprach der Oberkommandierende des Heeres am 15. März 1946 über die jüngsten Erfolge der deutschen Armee. Voller Zuversicht, dass der Einzige nur wenigen Jahren zu erreichen sei, sprach er dem großen Fortschritt der deutschen Waffentechnologie unter der Führung von General Wilhelm Strasse einen großen Anteil an... I hope you don't mind the weight of the world on your shoulders, Agent Blaskowitz. I've got pretty solid shoulders, Agent One. Well, we're losing the bloody war. Nobody told me. HQ's put a tight lid on it. General Death said is manufacturing unstoppable killing machines in a secret compound. One of his lieutenants, Helga von Schabs, is keeping the folder mentioned in your mission briefing at her base of operations, Castle Wolfenstein. This folder contains the location of Death's Head's compound. Could be our last chance, this. Before the Nazis wipe out all that's good in the world. America would never fold. <laughs> all right, here's the checkpoint. Remember your cover. Commander Franz, Nazi bastard from the SS in Frankfurt. Die Papiere, bitte. Here. Fahren Sie zum Kontrollpunkt da vorne und zeigen Sie dort Ihre Papiere. Vielen Dank. Wiedersehen. You and me, Blaskowitz. What a good team. We can do this. Okay, look. You're German? Frankly, it's atrocious. So no talking. And keep your gun holstered for as long as you can. The papers Kessler prepared for you are in the glove box. There. Okay, let's go. And remember, stay focused, stay quiet, and follow me, right? Commandant Franz, Aus Frankfurt, Guten Morgen, Guten Morgen. Uh, fuck it. <laughs> um Himmels Willen, stramm stehen, Fritz. Der Jäger kommt gleich. Jawohl. Er macht Hundefutter aus dir, wenn er dich so sieht. Was soll ich denn dann deiner Mutter erzählen? Entschuldige, Onkel. Nenn mich nicht so. Entschuldigung. Zeigen Sie Ihre Papiere. Hier, bitte sehr. Alles klar. Guten Morgen, Herr Jäger. Was geht's yeah. weiter? Ich bin ein Kamerad Franz, Nazi Bastard from the SS in Frankfurt. Die Papiere bitte. Da. Uh, ich bin ein. Augenblick, warte. What? Sie. Hello. Aus. Frankfurt. Sind Sie Frankfurter? Ja, äh, ein Hotdog. <lacht> so ein komischer Kreis. Die spinnen die Amis. Hotdog. Die wird sich wundern, wenn wir an der Macht sind. <lacht> Weiter. Ah, Kreta, bei Fuß. <lacht> Pretty good, eh? Hot dog. Reckon I had to say something. <laughs> That was Rudy Jaeger, Helga's second in command. I hear he feeds his dogs with prisoners from the castle's dungeon. Is the senior Rita? Good morning. <laughs> What? <laughs> hey. Helga von 
and shops. What a nasty piece of work. Handpicked by Death's Head himself as a key member of the SS Paranormal Division. You know, I had the misfortune of encountering her on a mission to Tanzania. Did I ever tell you about that, Blaskowitz? I was sick with Blackwater fever at the time. Possibly the worst day of my life. Not even a heavy diet of whiskey could improve my condition, if you can imagine. Ah, anyway, this castle, Helga owns it. It's her occult research center. Now, we need to take down Death's Head or the war will be lost. And Helga is vital in doing this. There's a top secret document folder in Helga's office. It should give us the location of Death's Head's compound. Once we have that, well then, we can launch an assault on his base of operations. Shoot him dead. Turn this failure of a war around and be back just in time for tea. And crumpets. And steak and kidney pie. Right. Right. Off you go. Right. I'll disable the alarm. You head for Helga's research center. We'll stay in touch via radio, leaving the channel open. All right, there, good buddy. You there? What are you doing on your? Get on your feet. Atta boy. Okay. When it's near senior, right done. Hard to find good health these days. Okay, here we go. Inside the elevator. Uh, Roger that. Guard spotted. Going in for the kill. <laughs> okay, it's on, bitches. Stealth kills. We can only get two in this area. As soon as you do the first one, you're going to get a checkpoint, so you can't reload checkpoint. And even if you do reload checkpoint, um, you're going to lose the second opportunity to do another stealth kill. So do a stealth kill, crouch down, sneak up behind someone, and hit the melee button, alright? So that's what we're going to do right away. There he is right there. Stay crouched, sneak up right behind him. Seems to get the prompt. To do a melee. Hit him up, take down. Down you go. Ignore the ammo. Go for this guy right away. Stay crouched or you'll alert him. Sneak around here, sneaky sneaky. Get up right behind him. And booyah, boss your uncle. Okay, so now we have an assault rifle. Up on the catwalk, BJ. I Don't do. shoot. Okay. It's just me. Sorry. <laughs> Trigger happy. Okay, we're gonna let Wesley do his thing, and then I'll. Okay, Helga. Where do you keep your secrets? Okay, while you're waiting for Wesley, do not touch anything. Okay. the radio don't touch it okay we're gonna let Wesley get all upset he's gonna freak out two or three times and then he's gonna shut up Q Wesley and again Okay, so that should be it from Wesley. Okay, or right, what, what's his name? Wesley. All right, okay, so the ammo is in here. In this firefight, which is coming up, we're going to have the pistol, the assault rifle, and the shotgun. 
This shotgun is probably the, I believe it's the only time you actually get this shotgun. It's a double barrel shotgun. It fires uh, two and then you have to reload it. That's really significant because this is probably the only time you can get a certain perk. All right, so let's go back here and collect all the ammo. We now have two assault rifles, so we can now dual wield assault rifles. So hook up your assault rifle, press the dual wield button, whatever that is for you. There we go, toggle dual wield, whatever that is for you. I've remapped all my keys, everybody can make fun of me. My DS, DCSF, go ahead, get all xenophobic about it. I don't care. I know what I'm doing. I'll explain it to you if you're all nice. <laughs> okay, so let's grab all the ammo. We have helmets here. Look for the Easter Island uh, heads headstone. Okay, there's two helmets there. Each. Oops! Shit! Didn't mean to do that. I screwed up already. Uh, let me just reload checkpoint. Okay, let's try this again. Uh, let's start from the top here. In the bottom of the screen there, you see we have 100 health and zero armor. That's what you start out with by default. There is armor around here. There's 50 armor there. 75 armor here, and there's another 25 armor over here. For now, let's just pick up the 75 armor. That's it, that's all. Do not pick any, anything else. Okay, we got 75 armor. You also have helmets. Each helmet will give you five armor. Okay. There's five helmets by default. One, see, the East Ireland headstone. Okay, one, two. There's two more over here. Three, four. And the fifth one is here. That's all I could find. If you know of any more, post a comment. You could also shoot the helmets off dead guys. Okay, here's the dead guy. Shoot the helmet off, okay, and pick it up. That's five, okay. This is relevant because one of the perks is to collect 100 helmets. This one right here, collect 100 helmets to unlock the ability to overcharge armor. What does that mean? That means that once you've maxed out your armor, if you pick up any more armor, you, it will like go above. So let's say our current armor max is 100 we could actually once we get the ability to overcharge armor you can actually pick up more armor so for example where's that 50 armor here this armor here let's say we're at 100 if we pick that up this will put us at 150 armor except for one thing when you overcharge armor it gradually runs down to your like your default maximum all right same thing with health you can you start off with the ability to overcharge health by default, okay? And we're at 100 health already. And there's lots of health to pick up here. There's two, four, or one, two, rather. Three, four, five, six times 20. Seven, eight, nine times 20. So that's 180 health that we could pick up. And that will put us up to 280 health. And once again, when you overcharge health, it gradually runs down until it gets back to your default. Now, two of the perks that we can get, three of the perks we can get right away. The first one here, health upgrade. Um, basically what happens is it talks about increases health regeneration speed by 30%. Here's health regen. Yes, there's kind of sort of a health regen. As you lose health, let's say you lost health down to say 85, okay? What happens is after a second or two, your health will start regenerating and it will go up to the next level, which is 100. So 85 will regenerate to 100. If it's at 75, it regenerates up to 80. If it's anywhere between 40 and 60, it will regenerate up to 60, if you see what I mean. So it's like, it's like incre increments of 20. If it's below 20, it re regenerates up to 20. In between 20 and 40, it regenerates up to 40 between 40 and 60, up to 60, etc., etc. So what happens is as it's regenerating, once you get to this per first perk, health upgrade one, it will regenerate 30% faster, all right? The next one here, you have to unlock this perk to get a chance to do this perk. This one is you have to gain, okay, first of all, to unlock this perk, you have to overcharge your health to 200. This one, you have to overcharge your health to 250. Now, 
the what this means is increases health regeneration by five health points. So instead of increments of 20, it's increments of 25, which is actually an advantage. So um, it's like the blocks are 0 to 25, 25 to 50, 50 to 75, and 75 to 100. So all you have to do is have your health at 76, and you regenerate all the way up to 100. And it, all you have to do is have your health at 51 or above, and you're automatically regenerate up to 75. So you see it's a huge advantage there, increments of 25 instead of 20, right? The next one here, um, health upgrade, it just, it's just a self-explanatory. Your maximum health is 125 instead of 100. And to unlock this, you have to get five kills while your health is overcharged. All right, you get all that? It's going to be a pop quiz tomorrow. All right, now these three, these first three health upgrades, we can get right away, right away, right now, because we have the means to do this. All we have to do is run around and collect all those, all those health upgrades. Where are they? Um, okay, so like I said, one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, and that right away is the first two health upgrades. Then we can hit the radio and start the fight. This will start the fight, and then we can quickly get five kills before our health runs down to um, get health upgrade, upgrade number three. All right, now um, dual wielding. Look up your assault rifle and press the dual wield button, as I explained earlier. Did I explain that? Okay, well. You can do wield weapons. Now one of the perks we can get is to get 100 do wielding kills. And we're going to work on that with uh, the assault rifle. All right. What we're going to do is we're going to go for headshots. That will kill them quickly. And um, this first firefight, it's between 18 and 20 enemies. I, th I believe it's 19 enemies to be exact. Now, what happens is you can reload checkpoint just before the end of the fight. How do I know when it's just before the end of the fight? It's like because, conveniently enough, BJ says, let me look at my notes here. He says, how's how's that exit coming along, BJ? No, how's that, what's the thing? Let me check here. How's that exit coming along, Wesley? When BJ says that as you're running around in the fight, that means you've only got one or two more enemies to kill. At that point, you hit reload checkpoint. Okay, reload, re restart latest checkpoint, and then you can do it again and continue farming um, whatever you're working on. All right, so we're working on dual wield kills. We'll get 17 kills per round, and we'll if we do that six times, we'll get um, 100 dual wield kills. All right, so we're gonna work on that immediately after getting our first five kills to complete this. Now, another thing we can do, this is important. Do not pick up any of these five helmets that are there by default now, okay? You're gonna pick them up after you hit the radio because if you pick them up now, they won't respawn after you do every restart checkpoint, okay? So every time you restart checkpoint, the first thing you're gonna do is come back here and grab these five helmets. One, two, three, four, five. So that'll give you five, a five count to work on this one here. All right, you can do that every single time. And if like you feel adventurous enough, you can shoot the helmets off the dead guys, but I wouldn't recommend because you're gonna, you're gonna get wasted. Okay, just focus on, you know, getting those um, those five helmets and then any helmets you see on the ground, quickly grab them, all right? So it's to your advantage to pick up the health first, but it's not to your advantage to pick up the helmets first, okay? If you wait till after you hit the radio and then start picking up the health, what's gonna happen is by the time you get down here, an enemy's gonna drop down here and then he's gonna, they're gonna start shooting at you, it's gonna blow away your health and it's gonna blow your chance of getting up to 250. So I rec strongly recommend that you pick up the health first. Another reason you want to pick up the health first is every time you do a restart checkpoint, you'll start with your health already overcharged. Okay, that's a huge advantage. Then you won't have to do the, the health run again. All right? So you get all that? It's going to be a pop quiz like right now. Okay, it's game on. Okay, so let's start with picking up the health. We're going to grab all eight health, then run back and hit the radio. All right, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two
three, four, five, six. There we go. I already got health upgrade one. Seven, eight, nine. That should be health upgrade two. Run quickly back and hit the radio. Pathfinder calling Lance here. Come in, Lance here. Over. This is Lance here speaking. Over. Lance here. We can't find Lucy's present. Over. Pathfinder, I have new information regarding Lucy's present. Rendezvous with me as soon as you can. We will discuss further. Over. Roger. Pathfinder. Oh, shit. It's on. First thing you're going to do is do a, a helmet run. One, two, three, four. My bad. First thing you want to do is kill five guys. Anyways, I <laughs> I did it anyway. So we killed five guys before our health ran down. We we're overcharged. We're still overcharged. Okay, so we got all three health upgrades. Now we're going to be working on dual wield kills. And let me just restart checkpoint because I kind of screwed that up. The commentary threw me off. Okay. Restart checkpoint, the first thing you're going to do, grab the five helmets, one, two, three, four, and five, and it's game on. Try to do headshots, kill them quickly, pick up any helmets you see. Oh, dude. <laughs> Remember, you're listening for how's that excellent coming along, Wesley? Don't kill anyone after that. That's it. That's our cue. We're out of here. Okay, let's check our progress. Dual wheel, 23 dual wheel kills. And 23 helmets. Let's do a helmet run, dual wielding. One, two, three, four. There's always a guy here. Five. Let's go. Let's go for it. Okay, sorry, there's no commentary. I am busy. <laughs> Picking up all those helmets. Come on, bring it, bring it. 
He's your daddy. Ouch. Don't forget, did I tell you that? If um, he still has his helmet on, you can shoot it off the dead bodies. Okay, so for example, just uh, oh jeez. <laughs> Lost focus. Okay. Yeah, I explained that. If you shoot the helmets off the dead guys. Okay, let's check our progress. 37 and helmets 39. Very good. Let's do a helmet run. And there's a fifth one. Don't forget, you can get more ammo back here if you run out. A lot more ammo. And more armor there, see that. I'm just assuming that you guys want to see this. So I'm showing the whole thing. And here come the nades. You gotta watch over the nades. Try to avoid killing the guys up the t up top because uh, you can't get their helmets. Ouch! I'm gonna die. <laughs> Every time I start, do okay. Let me just reload because I'm gonna die anyways. Okay, let's check our progress. Do wield 49. Halfway there. Helmets 54. Over halfway there. Let's do a helmet run. Two, three, four, five. Hey, you want to see a cool Easter egg? Check out Skyrim helmet. <laughs> Unfortunately, that doesn't count to your helmet count. Oh shit. You gotta watch out. Sometimes they, they like unload a grenade and then they drop it when they kill him. And it blows up in your face. Ouch. Yeah. Okay, where's my armor? Oh, dude. <laughs> Head popping goodness. 
shit. Yeah, get some. Hello now. Watch it. Watch it now. How's that exit coming along, Wesley? You're gonna die. How's that exit coming along? Here we go. That's her cue. We're out of here. Do wield. Check our progress. 64 helmets and 66 dual wielding kills. A hey, helmet run. Working on it. Here's our five helmets. Gimme, gimme. <laughs> it's going to be the most satisfying thing. They blow their heads off. Pick up their helmet. <laughs> oh, nice dodge, dude. Stop that. You're annoying me. Hello, watch it, watch it now. Okay, I'm just feeling a little stressed out here. Let me just reload here. Okay, I'm good. <laughs> Gimme. That's right. What? Watch it. You there. Ouch. There's somebody up there with a rifle too. This is giving you a lot of grief. They, they do a lot of damage. If you're like just, just trying to survive, I would recommend like going after the guys up top first. I'll show you another a great, great camping spot too. Okay, let me focus here. Give me. Oh, get pretty low. Yeah, okay, where's some? Uh, there's some over. There's some health here. Let me just. Uh, yeah, don't forget this. Two more health packs there. How's that exit coming along, That's our cue. We're out of here. Okay, do wield check progress. We're looking at 80 helmets and. 82 do wielding kills. They tend to keep pace as long as you pick up a helmet from everybody that you kill. Let's do a helmet run. Oh, the Skyrim helmet responds, but it doesn't uh, contribute to your helmet count, I noticed. Did that guy actually climb back up? What? I don't think I've ever seen that. Oh, ouch. Okay, jeez. Yeah. Yeah, okay, I'm feeling a stressed out. Okay, get in here. I don't think so. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Yeah, don't hang up back there, it's the death trap. They'll start throwing grenades like crazy. Okay, is that no one? I want to pick that up because that'll max out my armor. Shit! Die, Mia! Yeah! Ouch. Head popping goodness! Watch it, watch it now! I got you. I got you never. Get 
Yo, dude. <laughs> Yeah, I could use that. How's that exit coming along, Wesley? Yes. I <laughs> just did that for effect. <laughs> That's a waste, though. You don't want to do that. This Ren? No, I didn't. What? Watch it. Uh oh. Uh oh. Watch it. That's it. That's our cue. We're out of here. Should be pretty close. Dual wield. Check progress. Three more helmets and four more dual wielding kills. All we have to do is just do a helmet run and we'll get armor upgrade one. Unlocks the ability to overcharge armor. Let's do it right now. One, two, and this should do it. Three, there we go. Armor upgrade one, beautiful. Now we can overcharge armor. And three more dual wielding kills. Yeah, watch it now. And one more. Come on, give me one more. You are elected. That should have did it. Oh yeah, wait, four more dual wielding kills. There we go, ammunition upgrade. All right, so don't waste any more time. We got four perks, five perks already. Awesome, all right, now the final one um, that you can get in the first fight is reload mash, this one here. Uh, kill enemies with the last bullet of a clip. You may be thinking, how the hell do I do this? You can do it with the double barrel shotgun which only has two in the clip so all you have to do is just waste the first bullet and then use the last bullet to kill someone and it's an instant kill with a shotgun no matter where you shoot him shoot him in the body instant kill all right so that's what we're going to do right now um let's restart checkpoint get a fresh everything switch over to the shotgun blow one away Waste one. Waste one. And you get the idea. Okay, so we check our progress. There we go, we got five already. Only need 15 more. Waste one. happens okay okay let's check our progress need 11 more I like doing all these perks as soon as possible because I don't like being burdened with having to do perk challenges while I'm playing the game. It kind of ruins the fun. So I would like to 
do them all as quickly as possible. As soon as they're like, yeah, I missed there. Let me focus here. As soon as like it's available, do it. Ah, fuck. Okay, let me focus here. <laughs> it's about to throw a grenade. Uh oh! He did throw a grenade. That's it. Okay, there's more ammo back here. Okay. You keep going. Check progress. Three more. Oh shit. <laughs> That's two guys right there. I suck with the shotgun, I really do. I've never been a shotgun guy in any game. Uh oh, this is not good. Where's my help? Give me my help. Here we go. And. Okay, I'm good. Watch it now. Watch it. There we go. Reload mash. So there you go, people. Six perks in the first firefight. All done. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to um, get through the firefight real easy. You can also work on the cover um, challenge, but it's not the best place to do it. What's my health like? No, I don't like it. Okay. At any rate, I want to show you a great place to... Okay, so... If you just want to like win the fight, this is a great place to camp because... You're immune to grenades here. I don't know why this is, but they never throw grenades when you camp here. And usually I like to, um, I don't like to do a wheel when I'm camping here. And if you go right up against like something like cover like that and you hold down aim, you'll aim around the corner. And this should give you a cover kill. It didn't, but uh, maybe you have to aim over something. I'll show you another place later on in chapter one where you can cover kills. Okay, so this is a great place to camp. If you're not that great a shot. Camp right here. Grenades never come. And they're really predictable. This guy is gonna be he'll come running over, he'll be there guys down there or one will flank you back here or you can shoot them up here okay really predictable easy way to win this fight okay and if you're gonna do this short control burst and if you need armor you're just a short run away right here Where's that armor? I already get it. Okay, there's armor right here. Then you can go back. See, now they're throwing grenades because you got out of your spot. And back to your camping spot. Okay, easy peasy. And there's no one on your flanks. They can't get you up there. Got great cover. Short control burst. Let me just check something. Oh, see, it is working. Yeah, I don't know why that first one didn't register. Yeah, I am getting kills from cover. So it's working. So that's another one you can work here. But there's a much better place later on. I'll show you where you can get that, where you can work on that challenge. Okay, so we're just gonna finish this fight. There we go. So you should be over one more, one or two more kills, and we're done. And there we go. We're done. And we 
we still have a chance. Kessler knows something. But it's worth bloody note if we don't get out of this place. Look, I found a way out. Come here, I'll help you up. Okay, you could pick up ammo. But it's pointless. We're meeting Kessler in the village tavern. Uh, Roger that. Why, Slack? You'll see why. <laughs> okay, so there you go, people. That's how to get six easy perk points in the first firefight alone. It doesn't take long. And that's the best way to do it. Alright, so we're out of here. No turning back and this is where you're going. Keep moving. Down we go. Shit. Uh oh. out of here somehow. You ever been to Snowdonia, Blaskovitz? No, never been. It's a majestic and beautifully desolate place. Rolling hills as far as the eye can see. My father used to take me hiking there sometimes, before the Great War. He was happy back then. He'd pack a basket full of bread and cheddar, a bottle of ale for him and a soft drink for me. <laughs> Even found a fossil there once. Same day I broke my foot slipping on a wet stone. That was the best day of my life. I wish I'd had a chance to go back to... Evening, officer. And so it begins. They took away all your weapons. They took away all our weapons right away, right off the bat. Yeah. Okay, so that's the end of this video. I want to thank you all very much for watching. Nice long video for you guys. Kick it off to a great start. You got yourself six perk points already before we even hit chapter one. And in chapter one, we're going to get another six perks. All right, that's coming up in the videos to come. So that's it. I want to thank you all very much for watching. And if you thought this video was remotely entertaining and or informative, you know what to do. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, stuff like that there. And if you, well, if you didn't think it was you know, remotely entertaining and or informative. I gotta commend you for watching all the way to the end. Hey, maybe you, you know, don't really know it, you, you know, maybe just like hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up button anyways, you never know. It's like, you know, let me make, let me make up your mind for you. <laughs> hey guys, thanks for watching. See you next time. Hey guys, real walkthroughs like these are an endangered species here on YouTube. For a complete lowdown on the YouTube video game walkthrough scene, check out my Patreon page and please consider making a donation to yours truly, Major Slack, to help keep real walkthroughs alive on YouTube. You can donate as little as $1. That's $1. That's all. That's all it takes. All right. Thanks a lot. Really appreciate it.